dead started walking. I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. protected other people too but he couldn't save everyone you can never save everyone the living were just as dangerous as the dead a woman in our group named Lily lost her dad and then she just couldn't cope she took the life that Lee saved. Lee showed her kindness, but she took advantage of it later. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Stay away from the cities. They're just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He told me to leave him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't. And Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done... I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake. But like everything else... It wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves.
I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. Well, let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Alvin Jr., it's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem, I can't eat a toy. Oh man, my feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Sassy. Here, practice your reading. But I don't want to. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream, vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only going to make you hungrier. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Water, too.
some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. What are you doing? Stay back. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I want to try. After we clear this place. Interesting. Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. do inside a new place. We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Check, check the, windows. the windows. That's right. Monsters, all tied up. They can't get us? No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. 
this one's locked. Security door. Hmm, can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. We've got this open for lock. <sighs> That's not happening. Do we get the key? Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. Would it? They ate well for their last meal. Beans, homemade. Might be more where this came from. Small to crawl through. Well, for me. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people. They ask to be left alone. So what's best? AJ, I need your help on this one. In there? We need to know if there's food inside. And I need you to be brave. Okay, I can be brave. Lift me up. Once you're through, unlock this door. Got it. AJ. You gotta see this, Clem. <sighs> huh? They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's 
always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Never, Never hesitate. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Hey, watch the swears. I meant shoot. Look. Huh. Something under here. Hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! AJ!
will do.
here. What? Put down the knife. But you do the same. We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Your turn. See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. The little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. You had to take precautions, you know, just in case. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. It must have been tough out there for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy. been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. Sure, I do what I can to get by. No matter what. But don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. A good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. The kids are safe here. We make sure of it. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy... Feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit... troubled. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Made a lot of trouble since then. We all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. 
Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Get a move on, Willie! Where's your damn weapon? Way. Where's that music coming from? fake. I was here to calm him down with my 
by alluring music. I'm Lewis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. hunting party out there trying to get back inside. Need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's got to be some explanation. I don't think we've met. I'm Clementine. Yeah, I know. Your kid won't stop talking about you. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side.
so keep a lookout. inside the gates. Keep an eye out for spragglers. You know, you're not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. Sorry. Hey, see so you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. <sighs> Fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B-plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here. That was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. They're pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> EJ! <sighs> oh, shit. 
past a goddamn wall, huh? Yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. He can't go around punching people in the... No one expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But... But I don't think they like... I can just tell. They don't. They don't know you, AJ. I'll bet when they do, they'll like you just as much as I do. I don't know. Marlon was really mad. And that girl I bit, she yelled at me. They're really scary. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Not sure anyone would pledge to that. Hey. Hey, you're new. I am. I'm carving a weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? Want to see something cool? I want to see. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Swear. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh. This is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello? And no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt. Which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. Gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be 
like rude, but, you know, bye. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. There's that girl up it. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... Tell her why you did it. Because of my... thing? Yep. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, I do that, but I don't mean to. I just... I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. Oh, Shug, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did. They can see over the walls with that. Smart. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Well, don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done. You guys, earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mm. 
This is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Uh -uh. Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet! It's time! What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Ooh, wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <laughs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? <laughs> What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh, boy. Uh, what do you mean? She means it looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one, too. Uh, I look cool. <clears throat> Whatever you say. I say I look cool. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh, my God. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them, but I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ha, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? I had people. Everyone had people at some point. We had adults here. 
Now we don't. Well, I had people, and now I don't. Fair enough. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player, like for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't know. You probably. Why probably? You asked a morbid question. There's your morbid answer. Oh shit. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Yes. Go on. It was a yes or no question. I answered it. Drop it, Lewis. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep, real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys, relax. Get some sleep. Be human for a night. In the morning, come find me and talk about making this long term. We can stay. We can talk about it. Looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like ten? Yeah, like ten. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit! I I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh, what? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If 
AJ wants to play with it, it's... it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. I guess I just lost my train of thought. No, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool, too, out there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? AJ? Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'll be okay, I promise. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. Hmm. 
This bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Dog. 
back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, we bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. Well, what's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Are you sure that place is a lost cause? There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. Get the occasional walker or two come by. Vi and Brody should be heading out there in a bit. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. This place to be hard to find. The greenhouse. Oh yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing, but it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's become smaller. Food to become more scarce. So why not go outside it? <laughs> yeah. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids—it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if if I don't fix our food situation. Anyone else? We've already lost so much, friends, siblings. I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up, be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Sam are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Sam will anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up. If I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay. What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, we're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. I've been thinking. 
I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor or flat tires or the transmission. Buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline, maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over, turn it into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah. I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of miss that. But when you showed up, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? About me? It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Huh, this is cool. Edgy. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. And they're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. 
Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'm glad we got to know each other. Uh, yeah, I guess I am too. I mean, it, it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh. She definitely thinks you hate her. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Maybe because she never said sorry about Sophie and Minnie and not being able to save them. Did she tell you that? Hmm, more or less. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just, I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I, I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Hey, Slowpoke's coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, what? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Mom. 
monster. Guys, over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? I found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us through the... That's not what I'm worried about. Brody, just chill. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. Climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. I used that bell to attract a walker before. Could try it again. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis. I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract him until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck!
us. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. Yeah. 